Greetings. Uh, we're in, uh, I'm in my yard and it's snowing. Very nice, uh, very nice snow coming up and uh, just making everything, just making everything beautiful. Uh, <laughs> more beautiful than it currently is. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it stopped all the work outside. Uh, we still have to do uh, do quite a bit of work out here, uh, but we're getting the work on the inside done. Uh, so, uh, presidential election news. Uh, President Trump won uh, against all odds. Uh, it was against my prediction as well. Um, I was uh, I was thinking another steal was going to happen, and uh, I should have. I should have made the bet with my uh, with one of my students. Uh, she said, uh, "I'm willing to bet you ten bucks. Uh, ten bucks, uh, Kamala Harris wins, uh, and it'll be like forty-five to fifty-five. And I didn't want to take her up on the bet because that was my bet as well. <laughs> uh, but I should have I should have bet for Trump, and I might have uh, might have ten bucks in my pocket. Anyway, uh, is it going to change anything? No." <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, unless America, unless Trump leads America in repentance, uh, it's not going to change anything. Uh, Trump has the chance, and you can begin praying for him now, Trump has the chance to be the president of Nineveh. Uh, if you remember in the Bible and the story, in the story of Jonah, um, Nineveh was set to be judged by God. Uh, it was, it was absolutely on a on a course to be judged by God and uh, and God sent Jonah to Nineveh and Nineveh starting with its king uh, wholeheartedly repented they called a fast I think even the animals had to fast if I recall correctly they called a fast and they called a they repented in tears and sackcloth and ashes uh, they wholeheartedly repented of their sins and God forgave them America has to Trump has to lead the charge to repentance uh, if if there's any hope of changing America. Uh, will that happen? I don't know. Uh, Trump is a businessman. Uh, he's going to try to do what's best for business, and he thinks that uh, he thinks that taking care of Israel and Israel's needs is going to be good for business. Um, I've got news from Mr. Trump. Uh, teaming with Israel is teaming with God's enemies, and it is uh, it is not going to go well for America if America keeps on uh, keeps on giving to um, keeps on giving to Israel. Uh, if America keeps on keeps on fighting the war in Ukraine, uh, which was which was started when the when the Ecumenical Patriarch worked with the State Department to topple the Orthodox Church in Ukraine. Um, if you strip a country of its native faith, uh, you do a very good job of, uh, you can do a very good job of destroying it. And, uh, and the elite and the globalists are selling out Ukraine, killing off all its people, uh, raping it of its natural resources, and basically, uh, basically liquidating the country and getting away with it. Uh, the Ukraine war has to stop. And that land needs to be given to Russia. All of it. Uh, Russia is not going to stop until they have they have all of it. Uh, so I don't know. Um, part of the uh, uh, part of the problem here is that uh, is that we're looking to Trump for our salvation. As con as conservatives, uh, I was guilty of this back in 2016. I was heavily involved and in, invested in the political process. And uh, I watched Fox News day and night, night and day. That's that was when it was still trying to be fair and balanced. Uh, now it's just it's just flopped liberal again. Um, but um, I kept very close to the political process, and I was very excited when he won. And over time, I watched what was I watched what was happening, and I found out that not much was happening. Uh, Trump was fighting against a Congress. Trump was fighting against a deep state. Trump was fighting against half the country uh, to try to get anything done. And he tried his best to keep his campaign promises. And I believe he will try this time to keep his campaign promises. Um, but the bottom line is, unless America repents, there will be no change. America has to repent of the sin of sodomy. LGBT, the LGBT movement must be eliminated. It must be eliminated. You cannot 
uh, embrace sexual sin and not expect it to destroy the country. It will destroy the country. It will destroy the globe um, because it's all forms of sexual sin. Saint Paul said that uh, said that you can't take fire to your belly and not be and not be affected and not be destroyed. Uh, all kinds of sexual sin, including fornication, including pornography, including any kind of sexual sin you can th- you can think of. All of those forms of sexual sin destroy the individual. Uh, but the LGBT uh, nonsense is uh, is especially dangerous because it twists the personality of the person uh, person doing it, even more so than uh, even more so than being into um, uh, than being into just straight fornication. <laughs> By fornication, I'm talking about. Sex outside of marriage. I'm talking about of, about premarital sex. I'm talking about uh, you know any anything basically anything you're thinking about right now. Um, Trump needs to lead the lead a call to repentance. Uh, America <laughs> will be destroyed unless unless uh, it repents repents the sin of sodomy and and of the sin of approving of those who those who do the same sin if you if you approve of those if you are an lgbt advocate if you approve of those same things uh you are guilty of the same sin uh you're gonna go to hell just like just like these people being an lgbt advocate is not a good thing because it opens you up to judgment and it opens your country up to judgment and america is still headed for judgment full sale um at record pace uh so is anything going to change i don't know i don't know but america must repent the orthodox church is currently the orthodox church is currently as as i heard the fastest growing uh religion in america and i pray that this continues uh because that's a sign of repentance but we have to pray we must watch we must pray uh, for America, because uh, because America must repent. America needs to close its military bases and stop the colonization of the entire world. Uh, we have something like almost 200 military bases worldwide. Uh, we need to we need to close. I I suggest starting with the base in Okinawa because the Japanese don't want us there. Uh, we need to decolonize the entire world. Uh, America is has become a new colonial power, and we need to stop it. We need to immediately defund all of the wars. We need to investigate the CIA, and we need to make sure that uh, all covert military actions are stopped in all countries worldwide. Uh, we need to stop raping Syria. We need to stop raping Ukraine. We need to stop raping all these countries. We need to get get less entangled with the UN. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things America needs to do. Uh, globalism, unfortunately, that ship has sailed. Uh, and And... Globalism, unfortunately, is one of the um, one of the big uh, motivators of BRICS, um, and unfortunately, BRICS uh, BRICS, as I'm as I'm seeing it, is not going to be as powerful a force as uh, as it could be, because it's not uh, <laughs> it's pa- empowered by globalism. It's not empowered by Russian nationalism, uh, and the Russian Empire. Uh, Cannot return until the, until its leaders effectively repent from uh, from this desire for a one world government, from this desire for globalism. Uh, so it's it's time for repentance. Uh, America must repent, or it will or it will face a, a rapid judgment. Uh, that's one of the reasons I moved here was because I was convinced uh, that America is uh, is set to be judged any day for its sins. And I wanted to, uh, I wanted to prepare the way for, not only for myself, but also for my family. Um, now as for whether my family will get their act together and respond to that, I've, I've left an open invitation and so far they've refused it, uh, um, pretty violently refused it, or refused to help me at all, and refused, uh, and refused to come here. And, uh, so that's, uh, that's my business, <laughs> but... Uh, so pray for me, pray for my family, pray for, uh, you know, pray for, uh, Elena and, uh, just pray for us, uh, but pray for America, um, because, uh, we have had, we've had reports, uh, we have had, uh, saints say America will be saved. 
uh, America will be saved. America can be redeemed. I believe it was St. Hermes, St. Herman of Alaska said that. Uh, mark my words, America will be saved. Um, it's only going to be saved in an orthodox manner. Uh, the, the, uh, the end will only come when, when the word is spread throughout the globe in an orthodox manner. When the entire world has gotten to hear the orthodox word. Uh, it's not the Protestant word. It's not the Catholic word. It's not the whoever else. It's the canonical orthodox Christian word that is the only that has the only power to save. Uh, and the world is not going to end until that happens. Um, the world, the gospel is getting preached. Uh, people are converting to orthodoxy. Praise God. There's there's record numbers of catechumens flooding into the Orthodox Church in America, and I'm happy about that. Uh, I want that to I want that to start in start in Russia and continue in Russia. I want to see catechumens. Uh, I want to see catechumens. I want to see more English-speaking churches form here because we're going to have, uh, uh, because we're going to have, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully more people like me, and hopefully more people like my uh, like my expatriate friends, starting a new life in Russia. And uh, it's hard to uh, it's hard to hop into a all church Slavonic church, which is what I've done. Uh, but it's hard to get used to that if you're used to <laughs> if you're used to having English services. Uh, so, yeah, things have the potential to change. Yes, uh, but much prayer is required. Uh, ask everyone you know to pray for America. Ask everyone you know to pray for to pray for the country's repentance, uh, because the only way that America can be saved, and where America goes, the entire world goes. Uh, you know, America is entangled. America's fate is deeply entangled with the fate of the entire world. You know, BRICS is an attempt to somewhat detangle some of these nations from American influence, uh, but it it has a very poor chance of succeeding uh, unless there's unless there's repentance on on Russia's part. Uh, so I don't know. Um, the bottom line, the number one need of America, the number one need of Russia is repentance. Come back to Christ. Come back to Christ. Repent of your sins. Stop endorsing other people's sins. It doesn't matter what sin. Stop the sin of usury. Uh, they've got to liquidate the Fed. They've got to eliminate the Fed. They've got to eliminate the IRS. Uh, stop the sin of usury. Eliminate usury. That is one of the things that God destroyed countries for. That's one of the things God destroyed entire cultures, entire regions, was for the sin of usury. Borrowing money at interest is a sin, and that is why so many people make a lot of money in America, is because the country flows based upon sin. The economy is inflated, is artificially inflated because of borrowing money at interest. And... <coughs> I'd better get back inside. <laughs> it's a little cold out here. But anyway, uh, pray for us, please. And um, if you're able to donate, um, there's a, um, the, I have links to my Substack. Please, please consider doing a paid subscription to Substack. That will help us. Uh, there's a Patreon link. Please consider Patreon. Uh, if you're in Russia, you can send money to us, uh, to us directly. There's a link to, there's a, uh, my phone number is in the, um, is in the uh, comments. Uh, so please, please, not in the comments, the details for this video. Uh, please uh, pray for us and uh, consider donating uh, because your donations will be used to improve the channel. Um, a lot of good stuff coming up. I'm posting an interview with uh, with my friend Dima. I'm uh, finishing, doing the finishing touches on that. And I just did an interview with Mr. Tim Kirby. Uh, very good interview and he agreed to uh, he agreed to come back uh, come back in the future as well. Uh, very, very good interview. I think you'll appreciate his insights. Um, we're doing an interview this weekend with Mr. Andy, Mr. Afrolev himself. Uh, great, great kid. I really like this. I really like this guy. I've been talking to him and now he isn't. I got to go. Uh, God bless. Pray for us. Pray for us. Thanks.